Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're back with Superfilm Support. Remember, you can go to superfilmsupport.com, ask me any film question, I'll answer you here on a video. So today we have a question by Louis who says, I recently picked up my first Hasselblad from a friend of mine. The only issue is that the waist level finder is broken and will not lock, lock closed. I have seen people recommending buying a KF viewfinder instead of uh, the Hasselblad due to the price version. Will this work? Any advice will uh, be helpful. So, Louis, uh, the Hasselblad uh, viewfinder do kind of like break. Sometimes this one's half broken and I'll show that in a video. But basically, yes, the Kiev uh, waist level finder will work with the Hasselblad. I've never done it myself, but I've seen them in plenty of times out in the wild with a lot of people. But there's one prism that I highly recommend just in case, you know, the budget is a little tight and you're thinking of the Kiev. And I really recommend this for a lot of people shooting portraiture is the prism that's in the back there on my Hasselblad ELM, which because of the focus, you barely can see. But that prism is really inexpensive, sometimes sold for like 20 euros, $20, because nobody really wants them. And what's good about prisms is that you can shoot at the same eye level. What happens with uh, medium format film, and actually in the last video I did about not enough developer uh, for the film photography issues, what happens is if you focus and then put your camera down, that shift in uh, movement will change the focus and you will have problems. Also a problem with focusing down here towards the portrait is you're putting your camera like that and you're getting your depth of field, you're looking up people's noses. Honestly, that style of photography is not for me. When I'm shooting portraiture, I'd rather have my camera up to my eye and be in the same line like you do with a DSLR or SLR or like I do with a Hasselblad when I'm shooting my kids, the good thing is as they're still quite small, I can look down and I'm at the same level. I'm at the eye level. So if you're looking for an exchange for the waist level finder, yes, the Kiev will work, but I highly recommend you look into that one. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen right now, maybe some B-roll so you can see it. That one is plenty good for the money. It does the job. It's not the brightest and it doesn't have any metering in it, but honestly, for what you need outdoors, you can just put it to your eye, focus, shoot away, and it won't break the bank. And then you can save for maybe a nicer waist level finder from Hasselblad down the road or whatnot. Because honestly, this is your window to focus properly. And I'm not saying the Kiev are bad, and maybe people in the comments can tell me, hey Nico, I use the Kiev, it works fine, but I wouldn't risk just in case something's wrong and then your negatives come back and they're not right. Remember today, a roll of film's around 10 bucks, pretty much color black and white, let's give it a 10. And then developing it and scanning it is around 15 bucks more. So 25 per missed shot, like a whole roll, is a lot of money. And that might be the difference between the Hasselblad version and the Kiev version, or maybe the Hasselblad or the Kiev and the Prism that I'm recommending. So take that into consideration, the cost of making a mistake could be pretty big in film. And if you shoot like five days or something like that, like I did a couple years ago, I screwed up a lot more money than a whole prism in back focused images. So yeah, that was the super film support for this uh, week. Louis, thank you for asking. As always guys, remember this show is sponsored by you, Patreons and donors through PayPal. I'll leave the link to that below if you feel like, you know, becoming a Patreon supporting this show, me answering these videos, uh, these questions in videos, or maybe, you know, want to see other people getting, you know, their doubts fulfilled and answered somehow. And always recommend checking the comments. There's always somebody that has some insight that maybe I missed. And I like that idea of a community. It's not just me putting a video talking to a camera. It's you guys in the comments recommending to each other, like, you should look into this. You should look into that. So, yeah, let me know, guys. Has anybody used a different prism or, you know, waist level finder on their Hasselblad? And if so, how was it? And yeah, maybe you can help Louie too. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.